Yo, what's going on guys, Hennis here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a loyalty or currency system for your live stream through Streamlabs chatbot. A loyalty system for your live stream is a great way for your viewers to earn points that they can then use for giveaways that you run through your live stream, to request songs, or maybe to even enter into a queue time to play games with you. Now, before we continue with this video, I am assuming that you already have Streamlabs chatbot set up and configured for your YouTube, Twitch, or Mixer live stream. If you don't, there's no need to worry. I have a tutorial on my channel that I'll have linked in the cards in the upper right-hand corner and the link in the description down below on how to get Streamlabs chatbot set up and configured for your stream. So assuming you've got Streamlabs chatbot all set up, the first thing to do is to open Streamlabs chatbot. Once Streamlabs chatbot is open, the tab we want to go to over here on the left-hand side is called Currency. This tab should be entirely grayed out and empty, assuming that you have an already configured currency for your live stream. Now, next to currency, you'll see a button called local. And if you click that, you'll get a dialog box that says by toggling this, the bot will interact directly with the Streamlabs Twitch extension. Are you sure you want to do this? For those of you who don't know, a Twitch extension is essentially an add-on or a plugin that lives within your live stream. You may have seen this before if you've ever watched a live stream on a computer when you run your mouse over the actual video player over the actual live stream. You may have seen a pop up on the video player to remind you to Twitch Prime sub or to donate to an Extra Life Foundation. Essentially, a Twitch extension is a way for you to engage and grow with your audience through an interactive channel page. So Streamlabs Chatbot is asking you whether or not you would prefer Streamlabs Chatbot to store all of the currency information for your viewers on your actual computer locally, or if you would prefer it to be synced with the extension. For those who have never seen the extension before, I have it enabled on my channel, twitch.tv forward slash prohennis. I haven't live streamed on here in a while, but here underneath the points tab, monthly, it would show the top monthly point earners for my live stream. So this is an optional integration for your live stream if you want to have a leaderboard for the top supporters of your live stream. If you're interested in this or at least want to try it out, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash whatever your channel name is. For me, it's prohennis forward slash dashboard forward slash extensions. And when you're here, search all extensions and type in Streamlabs, press enter, and you're looking for Streamlabs leaderboard. This is what I already have installed for my live stream. If you click details, a gorgeous leaderboard that combines your cheers and loyalty points into one panel extension. Reward your viewers for being loyal and supportive and give them the recognition they deserve. So again, just to reiterate, the Streamlabs chatbot is asking you whether or not you wanna have your currency system stored within the actual Twitch extension, what I just showed you that's in the description of my live stream, or whether or not you want the information for your currency to be stored locally on the computer that the Streamlabs chatbot runs on. If you choose yes, you'll get another dialog box that says you've successfully connected the chatbot to the Streamlabs loyalty extension. Point payouts will now be done solely via the extension and the bot will sync with the extension to prevent double payouts. Now, while this is a very cool feature, since by default, the bot stores all the information locally, I'm going to choose the local currency system for the purposes of this tutorial. So now that currency is turned on and enabled, the first step will be to go up here in the upper right hand corner and open up settings. This is where you'll configure all the currency settings for your live stream. In this first section up at the top, you can set the actual command that viewers type into your live stream in order to trigger the bot's response to tell them how many points they have for your live stream. I always recommend to name the command something similar to whatever the name of your currency is. For this example, it's exclamation point points, since that's the default name for points for Streamlabs chatbot. If you wanted it to be coins, you could change this to exclamation point coins. And then you could also change the name of your currency to whatever you want as well. And just for the sake of simplicity, I always like to have the command match the name of the actual currency. Now in this response text box here, you'll see a lot of keyword variables and you'll know if it's a keyword variable because it will be preceded by a dollar sign. A keyword variable is essentially a placeholder so that when the bot gets triggered, the value of the variable will be replaced with the actual information according to the user who triggered the command. I know that's a little confusing, so let me give you an example. Let's say we have Twitch user Billy come into my live stream, Prohenis, and type in command exclamation point coins. The bot would then respond with the username of the person who triggered the command. In this case, it would be Billy. Then within brackets, the bot will display Billy's rank. Now, if we go back, and go to the upper right hand corner, you'll see a crown called ranks. If you click it and click the plus icon, you can create ranks with a point or hourly threshold that your viewers can essentially rank up into. So just to keep this simple, let's say I had a rank called one and I wanted the requirement for this rank to be 100 coins. Click submit and then I would have a rank called one with a minimum requirement of 100 coins. So that would mean every viewer who reaches 100 coins or 100 hours, whatever we choose later in settings, will achieve the one rank. And that name, one, would be replaced by the keyword variable, dollar sign rank here. 
Then the bot continues. It'll say hours, followed by the hours variable to show the amount of hours that a viewer has watched the live stream for. Then in place of dollar sign currency name, the bot will display the actual name that you set for your currency, in this case, coins. And finally, dollar sign points will be replaced by the actual balance or the value of the amount of points that the viewer has in your live stream. Now over here on the right, you'll see cooldown in seconds. And cooldown is the minimum amount of time that a viewer must wait between triggering currency commands in your stream. This is so important in helping to prevent against spam in your live stream. So that way a viewer can't come into your stream and just type exclamation point coins, exclamation point coins, exclamation point coins five times every second. The minimum by default here is set to five. I always recommend having it set at 60. The way I see it is there's no good reason why any viewers should need to check the amount of currency that they have more frequently than every minute. But again, you can set this to whatever you want. I just recommend 60 seconds. Continuing down in the general section here, you'll see it says assign ranks based on X amount of points or hours. So just like what we talked about earlier when we were talking about ranks and we have that one rank, right now it's set so when a viewer reaches 100 points, they will be automatically enrolled into the one rank. However, if we wanted the one rank to only include users who have a minimum of 100 hours in the live stream, we would choose the hours option here. It really just depends on what you want to prioritize or how you want your rank system to work. For me, I like to use points. Continuing down, you'll see a checkbox that says take offline hours into account for total hours in the stream. This is if somebody has your live stream channel page open, but you're not actually live. And for some reason, you might still want to reward people for simply having your channel page open. Then you can check this box. Keep in mind for this to work, the Streamlabs chatbot still has to be open and running on your computer. Continuing down, you'll see another checkbox that allows you to automatically assign the regular role to viewers when they reach a certain amount of points or hours. For me, I just leave this blank because I don't worry about the regular role or the regular rank at all. And this last checkbox, use Streamlabs extension currency, we would check if we had the Streamlabs Twitch extension enabled for our Twitch channel. Moving on to the next section called intervals, this is where you'll set the frequency at which your viewers will earn new coins in your live stream. You can see for each interval, whether online or offline, you can have a minimum of five and a max maximum of 60. If I have my online interval set to 60, that means every 60 minutes my viewers will earn coins in my live stream. If I have my online interval set to 5, that means that every 5 minutes my viewers will receive a payout. So if I have my online interval set to let's say 60, so that means every 60 minutes my viewers will get a payout. My live payout, which is the same as my online payout, my live payout, if I set that to 60, you'll see over here on the right, when I'm live, my viewers will earn a minimum of 60 points every hour and a maximum of 60 points every hour since I don't have any bonuses set. Now, from my understanding, what this means is that a viewer must be watching for the full 60 minutes in order to earn any points. So, for example, if a viewer comes into your live stream and only watches for five minutes, they actually won't earn any points. They won't just earn five points. They'll get zero. For me, I find it a little unfair to require viewers to watch for a full 60 minutes in order to earn any points, so I like to set my online interval to the minimum, which is five. If I wanted my viewers to only earn one point for every five minutes that they watch the live stream, that would mean that at a minimum and a maximum, they would only earn 12 points. If you think of a timeline, this might make a little more sense. Because my online interval is set to five every five minutes within the hour, so that means my viewers will get a live payout once every five minutes. At the five minute mark, they will earn one point. Then at the 10 minute mark, they'll earn another point for a total of two points. And this will continue to happen until we reach the hour mark. Five times 12 is 60, which is why the minimum payout here is 12. Now for the sake of simplicity, when I have my online interval set to five, I prefer to have my live payout also set to five. That means that my minimum payout will be 60. So it's essentially easier for me to tell my viewers for every minute that you watch the live stream, you'll earn one coin. Or in this case, to be more exact, for every five minutes that a viewer watches a live stream, they'll be rewarded with five coins. Then similarly to what we were talking about earlier, if I wanted there to be an online payout for viewers who simply have my live stream open even when I'm not live, I would set an offline payout. But for me, I don't want viewers to be rewarded simply for having my live stream open when I'm not live. For this last row in payout, you can set bonuses based on roles in your live stream for regulars, subscribers, moderators, or actives. So let's say, for example, I wanted my subscribers to earn double the points of regular viewers when they watch my live stream. Since regular viewers earn five coins for every five minutes that they watch the live stream, I would want my subscriber bonus to be five. And you'll see this variable change over here on the right, where the minimum amount of points any viewer will earn will be 60 in one hour. They'll earn five coins 
for every five minutes that they watch the live stream. However, subscribers, if they watch for the full hour, will get double. They'll get an additional five coins for every five minutes that they watch the live stream. Now, I know this section can be a little confusing. It was definitely frustrating for me when I was first learning it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments down below. What I recommend if you're really confused and really frustrated and don't want to take the time to learn all this, you can simply tweak your online interval and live payout settings to match the ratio that you want over here on the right. So in the end, it just becomes a little bit of a guess and check, but you can continue to tweak your numbers until you get the ratio that you want. Scrolling down to the next section, you'll see event payout. And this is a way for you to give additional points for a raid, follow, sub, mass sub gift, or a host. Now keep in mind, these event payouts are not tied at all to the intervals that we set up here in the above section, which means that this section is much easier to understand and much more straightforward. Every time a new user follows your live stream, they'll be automatically rewarded with an additional 10 coins. And every time a user subscribes to your channel, they'll get an additional 10 coins. Every time a user raids your channel, hosts your channel, or gives a massive amount of subs per sub, you can give an additional amount of points. For a raid or a follow, I recommend keeping those low just because those are common and free. In order to reward somebody who subscribes to your channel and they're actually giving you their Twitch Prime sub or they're paying $5 a month, maybe you can give them 100 points, whatever you want. Moving down to the next section called donations, you can set an additional amount of points that viewers will earn based on donations to your live stream. Now keep in mind, the only donations that will be counted here will be donations through Streamlabs. So if you use another donation service other than Streamlabs or somebody donates using bits, they won't receive any additional points for their donation. And lastly, the extra life donation section, just like the donation section above, is where you can set the additional amount of points that a viewer will earn when donating through your Streamlabs extra life account. So there you go, guys. That's how to set up currency for Streamlabs chatbot. I know this was a little bit confusing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to help as many of you as possible. And maybe there will be a couple of other people down there who are also really good with Streamlabs chatbot that can help you out as well. If you guys enjoyed this video or you found it helpful at all, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. This is what we're all about over here on the Pro Tutorials channel. Be sure to also follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description down below. And guys, that's all. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.